uh -huh. cut through some of the attack damage. And um, it looks like they're just not too worried about any full tank builds. I still would say 100 Thieves each man, but that also can be punished. Ryu though in mid lane. Yeah, he's gonna get the knockout. We'll move in. Spang gonna try and chain the CC together. He's in the pool, but the passive is ready Done. for the set. Does get the stun down. Golden Glue still chasing forward, but he got healing back for the Hemo Plague. Now Golden Glue forced to get away. Meteor's here first, but he doesn't quite get the kill. And now again, the action continues. Licorice burn the ulti. Gonna try and take down Sunday when he's got the passive ready. And Licorice knows he can't die further. Oh, Licorice again, bullying Sunday through this lane. But unless you actually get the kill! Yeah, Ghost Fog grabs the first blood, passive wears off, and look! Gonna walk out of that gank. Spen's even going topside, but Bot, here's the quickness activated for Zazel, does get the chomp point blank into Afro, forcing the flash away. The Q lands oh. Keith, he wants it, he gets the feathers to go, but the stun lands in after, and now Cody caught in a 1v2, but he's able to pick up Keith. Spen scaring on the other side, now chasing in, gonna look for Meteos first, but Meteos burns the ulti to stay alive. Play to his team strength right now is Licorice. Powered up already with the set one. He passed it. That's the all gonna land in. The TP coming through, but he's dead before it can complete. Easy stun lock there. Sejuani comes in. They're able to just use ult and knock up. And in that time, burst him down. Plus, that should be a race. Okay, Hunch of Thieves get the first turret bonus. Thankfully for them, bottom side here. And Mido's kind of abandoning the disaster that is top side does pay off for them. So what you have to do a lot of the time, uh, you know, as a jungler, and that's where kind of the saying of, quote unquote, never gank a losing lane, which is very applicable to uh, solo queue, kind of came from those situations where, you know, you go up top side with uh, your Aatrox getting beat around, maybe you just give over more kills. Whereas if you go bottom side, you trade that losing top side for the first turret bonus, plus no great turrets were taken down. Pings here onto the Sejuani, but Golden Blue go. Oh, this is really nice from Svanskara and Ryu. Gonna get ulted after the Q is taken down, but here comes Rakan. Now, actually, the Zinja is gonna try and make it happen, but the TP in nice. from Zazel actually is gonna secure the kill. It's Keith that rode him in, and that's a double kill for Golden Blue. Golden He's too far forward. He does go down to the Aatrox. And now the rest of 100 Thieves are here. Keith burns the ulti. Your after. immediate reaction is usually to focus on the Fiora, right? As soon as a uh, repose is used, they'll be vulnerable. But uh, here we go. In the Ooh, lane. Flash from Ryu gonna try and take down Keith. He flashes out. Zazel goes back in. But the Hamer play procs, and Ryu does get the kill. Pretty Just a little too squishy. Show off some essence through the here in the team fight. Spence Gary moving forward. Golden Blue's here as well. All already used from the set. Ronnie McCody around the side is Licorice. Trying to chase down Afro as his first target. Gets it close, but gets the first kill. Now gonna start dipping around. Cody does get Spence Scarum, but he's forced to dip left of the fight. Right. TP back in the fountain. Uh, so that's why Cloud9 never got to actually use the Rift Herald, um, which they actually traded the, you know, that Mountain Drake for. So they lost a lot of value there. Even more value than we thought was Sven Scarin's death. That's the extra IQ on Cody Sun sniping the jungler with the Herald. As we are fighting, oh. gonna stun that all. I think a little wide. Zazel though zipping around. But it's Sidwani caught in the thunder and Cody Sun able to get that kill still. Nothing should stop them from finishing off that turret. Definitely a big reward as they can also move to the Drake. You can be ready for 20 minute Barons. You absolutely can annihilate that thing as soon as it spawns. So this is going to mean that Cloud9... Fiora gives you a very clear window to just do this, get aggressive, as the Resurrect will come out from under the turret. But Keith actually takes up Meteos on the other side, and Licorice looking to re-go for the solo, grabs it on a rampage, he slays Someday. Licorice absolutely destroying Someday all game long on this Fiora into Aatrox. Great use of the counter there, and Ryu now the target. Last breath out, the stun is gonna chain. They take down Ryu with a pull up, I believe. Cloud9 are angry, and they are running it straight through the 100 Thieves defenses. That is gonna be kills in mid and bottom simultaneously, resulting in two turrets for themselves. And perhaps to the Baron, they do take uh, the melee ability there. Will go off regardless. Here's another. Golden Glutes just starting this all off, and Afro is forced to get away. He already flashed with Zazel, able to get the kill in the Bloodthirst between the supports. The ult is wide as Ryu flashes just right of it. Fence Garen though, still hungry for a few more kills. Cloud9 starting to pick up speed. Oh, Zazel dives in. There's the recombo into the last breath, and Golden Glue. Grabs yet another kill. Looks like 100 Thieves are just moving. Is Meteos gonna get chomped up, but knocks one away. Still getting aggressed on. Hemo Plague out. Swing with the ulti, but it's a bit of a mess. There's Keith 
Pulls the feather away, 100 Thieves trying to collapse. Cody straight in there, but he's maybe gonna get shot oh, up a little too long. Instead, he takes down Zazel. Licorice is here, but he's trying to get a kill. Ryu gonna live. Meteor's on a rampage, taking out Golden Glue. A double kill for the Zin Zhao. And 100 Thieves comes. 1v5, 1v6 maybe with the Baron helping out, but it's not enough. The Baron does go over to 100 Thieves who keep themselves in this game. What an opening there. Ninja Tabbies, there are double Zonias. And they're going to be able to use this Baron to collect a lot of that extra gold. And look at that Licorice is saying, you know what? We're going to stick to the plan. Straight to mid lane, pushing the minions as the rest of his team going to try and defend these turrets. But not much to defend here for these outers in tier two. So under Thieves throughout this game, finding those, those kills. And there it is, Cody with now three items completed as the Zonis is finished. Gives his team with nothing else. Slowly but surely here, they just want to buff up with the Baron, the minions. They're doing their work. Cody Sun getting a couple autos. You can see whenever he goes up for those autos, Aphromoo stands right in front of him, ready to put up that Unbreakable. Many of members have felt the initiation already. Sejuani so ult uh, with the Rakan engagement can be very quick. But as long as Aphromoo is there on Braum right in front of uh, the Kai'Sa, it means that Cloud9 would have a lot of trouble really getting much out of it. Yeah. 100 Thieves also no need to split up. They just stay five strong, guard their cannon, powered up with the Baron as it barely wears off. Yeah. And they'll get themselves they still no initiation by 100 Thieves. Flickrish does get the turret there in bot lane. Yep, C9 are able to use their advantage. The 1v1 on quickly, as we said, 3,000 health. There we oh, go. Offense carrying in a dive in, trying to find a steal, but he doesn't grab it instead. The fight will start as Cody again. Killer instinct to the back line, takes down Zazel, almost gets Keith, and he's going to slay the rest of them. Golden Blue gets popped into his GA. Licorice has called off the pressure there on the bus oh. side. Cody with a double, looking for three. Is Afro going to try and tag out Sven, who does get out for now with the use of the blast cone? Keith also got out to safety, but I think Sven just has to buy time. That W barely misses for Cody. Cody, son. Medios has got him, though. He's got a Cloud Drake, and... Might be given to Cody instead, who will happily take his third kill of the fight. <laughs> Flash for Medios. He wants it, and Cody, godlike, takes down Sven Skarin. Win the 44, oh. and 100 Thieves force the Baron. This one's going to be inside the base. Win battle, losing the war right now for Cloud9. As 100 Thieves find team fight after team fight and crack the first inhibitor. 10 seconds on Golden Glue, 30 on Spence Garen. Sinan have to defend 3v4 for now. Zazel dives in. They get Cody, but they can't follow up. Golden Glue's not even there, not alive to try and get the last breath in. Licorice with a parry again, but he's going to go down. His first death of the game could be a very, very costly mistake as Golden Glue is dancing around, but he can't dance no longer. 100 Thieves, they slay the rest of Cloud9, and they'll take down the Nexus.